Hey guys, so this is my last video. I just wanted to thank you all for your support and positivity over the years. Um, the gifts, comments, and your visits in the store are what's always made the job so special. There we go. That's all I got. Yeah. Oh, well, I, I feel like people are going to think that you're joking, but this is, yeah, you're really getting another job. Yeah, yep. I'm making some moves over here. Yeah. So, you know, it's, it's been fun while it lasted, but mm -hmm. I just really wanted to thank everybody. Yeah. Well, thank you, Max. And I'm still definitely inviting myself over for dinner at your house all the time. So. <laughs> well, you know where the key is. So. <laughs> all right. See ya. Later. It's definitely very strong right now. It's very cherry for sure. I'd say it's pretty darn good, not just good. Yeah. I'm going to say pretty darn good. No, we don't. We don't even use the cherries. <laughs> so. It's just for fun. Yeah, yeah. That's just chopping it. these up and putting them right in the garbage. So. <laughs> just had to look like I was doing something when the boss came in. Yeah, yeah it's been a long morning. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think. I'm doing like a half batch, so I don't want to do too many. Just drop a bunch in there. and get like a cherry puree, but mm. that's kind of cool. Almost looks like jello. Oh, wow, yeah. I'm hoping this makes people very satisfied. Because if they don't see us scraping stuff out, they always roast us in the comments about not scraping stuff out. That's good, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we scrape stuff out whether it's on camera or not. Sometimes I'm just, I just always thought in the past, like, oh, people don't really care about that. They want to see it all. Yeah. <laughs> I know, right? It looks so satisfying. I'm sure it feels satisfying. It's, especially after finishing, like, the bottom of one. <laughs> it just gets, like, looser the more you work with it. So. Oh, yeah. Does it ever get old, playing with corn syrup? I like it. <laughs> I'm sure it'd get old to some people. Those people are called psychos. Yeah. Axe murderers. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's see. I think I think the scale moved on that last one. Ooh. Look at that. Like what, four or five scoops? Right. I was counting. I think they're around five. Around five? Ish. Yeah. Six, seven. It's a lot of sugar, man. It's only two bags. More? Honestly, I'm kind of still shocked. Like, after doing the hard candy for a while, going up to a 36 pound batch, that's a full cup. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for making the noise for me. It makes yeah. it easier. I figured I'd, I'd help any in any way I can. Well, mm -hmm. Good work, Max. You really good. Kinda. Every time, but really, once you start mixing it together, it really just does look like applesauce. That does look like applesauce. <laughs> yeah, what's it? Get it going here. It's a lot easier when you turn the heat on, but we gotta pull that other batch first. Oh, yeah. Plus, you gotta wait until the, until the other batch gets pulled before you can turn this on. Cause yeah, we gotta pour it right in there. So, yeah. if this gets heated up before we get that out, then we're in trouble. <laughs> This will work out too. This one's really not bad. <laughs> when it comes out like a rock, it's terrible. But that's gliding. 
We can overbeat the next one if you want to see one. That's really yeah. hard. <laughs> so if you don't beat it enough, it'll be like pretty runny, and then mm -hmm. if you beat it too much, it will be like a rock. It's um, like a balance between like how hot you cooked it, or or cool if you didn't get it all the way up to two forty, mm -hmm. and uh, and then how long it beats. Uh, so does making cream more often make you better at getting the consistency right? Because I feel like in the past there was like some more rock-like ones. Yeah. It doesn't seem like it's common anymore. So I think that that came from the thermometer not being as accurate because mm -hmm. we did have to change the temperature that we were cooking it to. Um, and we used to do this until it looked like mashed potatoes. Now we turned <laughs> off just like a little bit earlier. Mm. So, mm -hmm. but yeah, I think sticking to a process is really what helps you um, kind of gain that like gauge. Yeah. Yeah. So it was before like the mercury thermometer versus the no, the mercury was perfect. Um, but then we got this one, and I don't know if you remember, we had to calibrate it, and then we got the second one, and the second one. Um, also needed to be recalibrated. Hmm. So we were off by like a couple of degrees at that point. For like a couple of weeks or months or so? Um, yeah, it, it was a while because like when the mercury one broke, we just started using this one and we never thought to like gauge it. Mm -hmm. So then we put like three thermometers in there just to see like which one was accurate. Hmm. And that's when we were like, we gotta do something about this. Yeah. So these are both just going to be half batches? Mm hmm Yeah, we've been sticking to the half batches for a while. Yeah. Especially since, like, we're doing a couple of new flavors today. And this is going to be the berry cherry and then uh, apple pie? Yep. Oh, boy. Yeah. They honestly both sound really good. I don't know which one I would be more excited for. Maybe even the apple pie, because I feel like just the flavor with that texture would be really good because I've had the apple pie hard candy and it tastes just like apple pie. Like, yeah, it's a little freaky. Yeah. Like I know you're, it says apple pie so you should think it's apple pie but it just like, I guess it's unexpected to, how like yeah, pie. how do they do that? Yeah. Like I understand apple but apple pie flavored candy? The lemon one, yeah I know right? Like if you have a fruit or something you squeeze it until the oil comes out. How do you squeeze yeah. the oil out of an apple pie? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta make a lot of apple pies. Yeah, really. Fire up the old apple pie press, boys. <laughs> they just called a bunch of ants. <laughs> You're gonna need to make these apple pies. Like, it's always like, oh, oh my. Meant, like, no, like, like not ants like that live in the ground. I'm like, what? <laughs> it's always like someone's aunt who can make like the best apple pie. <laughs> grandma's man. Hmm. Yeah, that too. Grandmas and aunts working together. I guess grandmas are. Not moms. Aunt. Yeah, not no, moms. No moms allowed. <laughs> There's a big sign on the wall. <laughs> no moms allowed. <laughs> Unless you're also a grandma or also a yeah. Then you'll be allowed. Multi-purpose moms allowed. <laughs> oh, every time. I can't help it. It just comes out. You can't let These are that one. actually oh. just straight ceramics. Heavy. Uh -huh. And you're also lifting from pretty high. Yup. It's good shoulder workout. Like I'm a tennis player. <laughs> You're gonna to want to use the, I think the other side because that's not the, the flat side is. Oh no! Sorry, I I was looking at that side. Yeah. And then this side is yeah. I remember it that one time. It leaves a little bit of an indent. Yeah, he was like, what? Why is it doing that? <laughs> yeah, it's kind of chipped there. It's like a, it's probably as old of a ruler as like the rest of the stuff in here. So. <laughs> <laughs> You've been hanging out my dad too much. Yeah, for real. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Only 
half a shot of this. Yep. Oh wow, that already smells kind of strong. Very. <laughs> it's definitely very strong. Very cherry. Very cherry. <laughs> and then even more. Tons of nice chopped up cherries. so that the, the cherries color it themselves. Oh, okay. The flavoring itself has a little bit of color to it. Mm -hmm. Kind of fun how the cherries stand out from it. Oh yeah, they, yeah that would be nice. They kind of like have a little bit of a... You know what this reminds you of right now is like yogurt. When you mix it up, you yeah. get all the chunks and like it kind of swirls and like so you got mixed berries, it starts to turn purple. Exactly. Almost has a consistency of well, kind of like a thin yogurt, I guess. Very thin yogurt. Definitely not a Greek yogurt. No. <laughs> not quite. What's it at? One forty. It's thin enough right now. It's honestly all I'm looking for. Mm -hmm. So you mostly look at uh, the consistency of it. Yeah, it's got like one forty to like one fifty, one fifty-five is pretty good. It's just like if it's thin enough and like you can drop it, like that's definitely. That's, that's gonna work. Hmm. It's gotten much better at dropping cream since you've last put it. Oh yeah. I actually can't wait to see it. Way more efficient. <laughs> <laughs> So do you just like to bring the whole thing to yeah. make sure you don't drip? Yeah. Give her somewhere to put it down to because I'm gonna need to try and get the uh over here. Exactly what it is. Let your hands do the talking. Just reach out to the force. Well, it feels a little interesting. I've never done one where there's pieces in the cream. Mm -hmm. I kind of feel it on the wall while I'm pushing down the stick. I think we uh, do chunks with the coconut as well. Ah, I haven't done those yet. Those are. You can definitely see the chunks of cherry in there. Yeah, they're pretty. We've done like all pink creams today, so I'm trying to mm have -hmm. like labeled them at this point because they're all starting to look the same to me. Oh, because you did cranberry earlier, right? Cranberry, we did apple pie, and we've done amaretto, which is like kind of a... The apple pie with pink too? It's got like a kind of mauve, mm. like brown pink. These last few are very cherry. <laughs> yeah, it's not going to get the cherries worth. Yeah. Much more efficient. <laughs> I can get through the whole thing cranes by myself very fast compared to the first few days. Yeah. It Is like it just like repetition for you, you think? 100%. This is like my, I think like, fifth day of like just kind of being the one dropping cream, which is a good amount of cream drops every single day that I do it, so it's good practice. Yeah. Keeps me, keeps my, my muscles working. <laughs> it's definitely kind of in the wrist, too, to get just comfortable with the way this, like, the, the funnel feels. So the wrist, do you use, like, the forearms, too? Yeah, it's, it's a lot of just like this. Yeah. Working it out.
never gets lighter. <sighs> they actually only get heavier. They do. <laughs> That's a true fact. The cherries on top. So are you just staying in one spot so that because I'm filming, or do you usually do that? Uh, no, honestly, because you're filming. I'm oh, okay. Sure <laughs> the angle you want. Yeah, I know Max is used to me just getting like right up in him in his grill. Yeah. <laughs> it's definitely like it's not it's not as bad as it looks. It's definitely like keep your arms moving. Mm -hmm. It does kind of help to like shift and like shuffle down with you. Mm -hmm your little funnel to keep it a little less tiring on your arms to hold them out. The next day. Oh, all right. It's kind of interesting. You can see like yeah. the cherries. It looks really cool. Did something to the creams. Yeah, and you didn't even have to add any flavoring either. Or, uh, it's, uh, you did have to add flavoring, coloring, I mean. Yeah, there's a half, a, there's only half a shot of the cherry flavoring in here, too. I think a lot of the flavor is going to come from just us adding mm -hmm. the cherries in themselves. Which is fun. Yeah, the plum was my recent favorite naked cream, but I this wonder if one. this will take the cake. This one seems like it would be really good, just like without chocolate, even better with chocolate, so mm -hmm. it's always good. A little stuck to the bottom, some surprise candy. <laughs> kind of went through like the starch mold a little bit. It's huh. interesting. Right. Going here. Oh, I see one. <laughs> there you go. That's the point of this. <laughs> Find the stragglers. Go around, clean up the sides. Just go back up here for when we do molds again. So how many now? How many times now have you done this? Where you take them out of those starts? And rope them? A fair amount. <laughs> um, Roughly a handful of times? Yeah, I would say probably about a handful. <laughs> Something like that. Some of these creams got funny shapes to them. Like that's, a, that's an anomaly right there. Section them up a little bit. Wait, well, you just saw the, the original starch room over the weekend. Yeah. <laughs> You glad you're working here instead? Yes, I got like claustrophobic in it and I was there for about three seconds. And there was like nothing in it too. Like there was mm -hmm. none of this stuff in here. It's crazy mm -hmm. to think that you fit everything in there. Yeah, well, this uh, whole shelf was definitely not in there. Yeah, no, but like the fact that this fit right. in here is actually yeah. insane. And, and the that, press, yeah. Like, yeah. So they do kind of sound like they're hard though, huh? A little bit. Like I, I know a lot of people just comment that every time, like thinking that they are not hard and then they hear them and then they're like, oh, I thought they'd be a lot softer. And they are, they just, they sound hard, but they're really not. Yeah, I actually was just talking to Steve about it and the way they sound, like that sound is what you're looking for. If it's too humid, I guess when you drop them, they almost don't even make a sound. Mm. 
and that's not good. <laughs> yeah, I, so, we don't usually have too many problems with that here, but I'm sure they probably did at the old place where yeah. there was no HVAC system. Way more like <laughs> humidity control in this building for sure. Yeah, yeah. Back then it was just well, what was the weather today? That was our <laughs> good luck. Yeah, <laughs> make it work. They were just like, well, can we do this today? Well, not because of the weather. Like uh, hard candy, we could only do. A handful of times a year. Yeah, they were saying like it's just winter time in the beginning. Cause yeah, it's just like that. I mean, it makes sense though, because it's definitely easier when it's cold out. Everything sticks together when it's hot. Yeah, and even in the winter, it had to be like cold, dry days. So it was like very specific days in the winter. <laughs> it's nice that you can kind of get a temperature controlled setup though. Mm -hmm. Make the people happy all year round. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was so weird when we first moved in because. I, I always associated hard candy, ribbon candy, brittle, all that stuff with just Christmas time. Because yeah, that like was growing up, that was just how it always was. And it was just so weird that to be all year round. I enjoy the hard candy side of this job, so I'm happy that it happens more so <laughs> than just like one season out of the year. Right. Yeah. It's good to change it up though. Do you have a favorite task that you've had to do so far? Honestly, it's kind of like repetitive and probably doesn't look that fun on camera, but I like breaking the nuts off of the turtles. Oh yeah? Yeah. <laughs> I don't That's know funny. why. I didn't expect that answer. Yeah, no. Probably most people wouldn't, but there's something satisfying about it. I don't really know what it is. Can't put my finger on it, but I enjoy it. These are so interesting. There's like a brain sticking out of it. Yeah, how that happen? I don't know. I think that the starch molds like are good enough until maybe this got like a little too hot or something. So oh, kind of yeah. or some liquidy. I do remember this batch being super liquidy with all the yeah, just like the cherry juice in it. So yeah, that makes sense. It would change the consistency a little bit. It's pretty some of them up. Before we put the chocolate on them. And you were just saying that the texture is a little bit softer than normal even? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's got a nice like almost like squishy. There are, the other ones are definitely more firm. Hmm. But I think that's probably a good thing. They just got like a nice silky texture to it, it's going to be Just nice. you're thinking because of the liquid in the maraschino I think, cherries? I think it must have been the cherry juice, yeah, because normally without it, it doesn't really have this texture, so. And that's the only thing that's different. Hmm. So we were just talking about how they're all like very squishy, and then we decided to just flip them all over, and then there was still a little bit left over, so we had to grab another tray, and now they're all just like the flat sides on the flat part, because we actually had some uh, that got squished. This is like the gravy. It looks kind of gross, but <laughs> like it would these taste are... really good. Yeah, I'm sure it tastes really Squish good. Squish it though. together, make yeah. a candy bar out of it. Yeah, yeah, that's what we're talking about. Like, maybe we could do that, like a limited time candy bar. Yeah, usually when they get squished, they don't just like leak out and ruin all the ones next to them. But these ones definitely did that. Cherry juice, a little funky, but it's, yeah. these are really yummy. I had like naked cream, so it was yeah, yeah. I don't see how this couldn't be good. <laughs> it's gonna be even better in chocolate. It always is. And we were just saying before, Terry actually doesn't want any designs on these because she wants them to be a little bit reminiscent of the old uh, chalk-covered cherries that we used to do. Yeah. Normally with cherries, there would just be like red sprinkles on top, which is pretty yeah. easy too, but 
Yeah. Made it even easier on me. Yeah. <laughs> so if you get a blank one in your box, you know exactly what it is. Although I think we're doing uh, entire boxes of just these, but I don't know if they're going to put them in like the normal sort of chocolates. Yeah, I don't know what they're doing with these once they're kind of packaging them up. I don't know. This is this is the death of me right here is trying to <laughs> cut them. So. so is it like an eyeball type thing or how are you measuring it? Yeah, it kind of ends up being an eyeball, but like, I'm like... Oh, that's pretty good. I'm sometimes good at it and then sometimes not so good at it. <laughs> so I'm glad the camera got to see me on my... And your good try? On my good try. Yeah, it's honestly hard to just use the knife at all. Uh, like it, it seems like it'd be easy, like, oh, just drag the knife through it, but it's not that <laughs> no, easy. No, it's not. <laughs> Nothing at this job, when you look at it, is actually as easy as what maybe we make it look like. Like, you gotta come in here and try it yourself, and then you can talk. <laughs> Do you have a preference of which and rubber you use? Um, I think this, like, the dark one is cooler because it's way more up to you like you kind of got to stay on top of it and make sure that it works well so i guess like this is more of a challenge so it it's, it's kind of like driving a stick <laughs> yeah that's, a, <laughs> that's an automatic like yeah. that that's like six in a row you get it all kind of lined up it does exactly what you want it to this is like it's a little bit more finicky so yeah it's good though and this one you can run continuously yeah, if you're good. Yeah. I try my best to do it. Yeah. Yeah, it, honestly, when uh, when um, Max and my dad started, they would have one person down here and then another person down here the whole time. So Tag you're running by yourself the first... Was it, you've been working here about two months now, right? Yeah, just about two months. So, well, there's a wild Karen. Whoa. Yeah, people have been asking where Karen is. She just got back from vacation. Do you still you work still here? can. Yeah, I think so. She doesn't know where she is. So tan. <laughs> Do you want help? Okay. All right. I'll see ya. That looks like they all right. Huh. Flip them over when they dry. Uh, I gotta get the blower and shaker in. I'm all over the place. Oh, some people are gonna have some extra thickly coated creams. A little bit. <laughs> yeah, like right there, you can actually see it. This is what I'm looking for. So I'm looking for like the tail coming off of it. And like at this point, you can see the tails coming off of those last ones. They're like a lot shorter. So we're yeah. not wasting as much chocolate as like oh, okay. the stuff coming in through here. Right, yeah, so for a lot of people, they probably won't be consuming the extra chocolate. It'll just come off on the paper, which is, like you said, just kind of a waste. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and yeah, it seems like it'd be tough because you have like so many things to try to do all at once. I'm not that good at running it continuous. I've, <laughs> I've like done it a couple of times, but for the most part, I get flustered and then things maybe hit the ground. So I'm like, all right, I'm just gonna. <laughs> All right, Max has definitely little, dropped the peel before. Be a little bit more gentle with it. Ding. Hmm. Like I said, this one's a bit of a challenge. Yeah. I think I have more experience with the milk too, so that could be why this one's a little bit harder because I don't yeah. use it as much. But and like we were saying before, it's kind of like going from an automatic to a stick. Yeah, yeah. definitely. <laughs> why do I gotta press this button? Yeah. Because well, the automatic does that for you. You, <laughs> you gotta know why. <laughs> it's definitely, it's a little different, but it's good. They do look awful pretty though. Yeah, it's cool. There's like no coloring in here. This is yeah. all just from the cherry juice. Yeah. It's nice. 
continuous is off. Gotta make sure continuous is off or else that goes when you turn that on, but you only want it coming in right now. It's quite the process. You can you can get this going pretty quick though if you can run it continuous. You can get like yeah. a fair amount done. It's just like it's hard to keep up with it. Max like play with the belt speed and all this to kind of get it slower so I can learn more so just like the steps and in, in between everything without it being so fast because it's kind of a little fast at some points and it's hard to keep up with yeah <laughs> but. and then once you start focusing on one thing you're like all right i got it and then because you're focusing on that thing you're like oh no i forgot this other thing exactly max probably would have been done doing creams today hmm. but so it goes It is kind of cool though to have videos like this of you just like learning and struggling because I know like six months from now you're like, oh man, I am so much better yeah. than I was there. <laughs> I, I'm going to appreciate that for sure. Yeah. Because sometimes could. you like forget how much you've improved. And, but if you have videos like, oh wow. For sure. Yeah. I've made huge strides. We're getting there. Every day is a new, new little thing to learn. Yeah. So. Honestly, you're, you're a pretty quick learner though. I appreciate that. That's one thing I've found. I do my best to keep up. Yeah, it shows. These are always funky. I tend to flop them on the side because <laughs> like they've they've like gone bad for me. So I've just been doing that recently. Anyway. Oh yeah, instead of like trying to pull it out the long way. Yeah. For the just then, just because it's the last one on the tray. You mean? Like yeah, I don't know what Max does, but he I guess lays them out a little bit better than me. But like by the time I'm putting this on here to like actually get the tray down like i'm hitting those and i'm like mm. that's not good i think i mean i could be wrong but i think when he usually puts the first one on he'll put it on like how you did and then he'll move it over with his hand i think that's what he does yeah, i don't know probably. he's in the other room we could even ask him true <laughs> fact check him oh yeah you can really see the flex cherry flex are important Flex matters. Okay, are we ready? So this is with the dark chocolate. Yeah. Are we also making milk, as the viewer saw, I'm sure. All right, moment of truth. They, they softened up a little bit. Yeah? Because of the cherries. Did you try it yesterday, too? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. So even just like a day later, it's already a little bit softer. Yeah, they'll probably get softer and softer. Yeah. Because of the cherry juice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah because there's no food coloring in it, so it's just like the pink is from the cherry juice. So. Yeah. Yeah. So how's the it's, taste? It's, oh, it's, yeah. it's excellent. It's very cherry. <laughs> yeah. It's more cherrier than usual. Um, I was shooting for a replacement for chocolate covered cherry. Not quite there. I mean, I wouldn't. Pretty, it's good. I mean, I just, close. I just got me a little bite of maraschino cherry, so that was good. Yeah, but really good. I'd say it's pretty darn good, not just good. Yeah. I'm well, going to say pretty darn good. If you try them or give them to somebody, um, I'm sure they're not going to you know, turn them away. Yeah. <laughs> so. Well, we're, wow. we're waiting to see if they get if the cherries make it a little juicier Yeah. after they sit for a bit. Let's find out. Yeah, they will. Already in one day. Yeah, no, it's yeah. definitely got a nice strong cherry flavor. Yeah, yeah. Like a little bit stronger than just cherry you can, flavor. You can tell what flavor it is when you bite yeah. it. So that's what you want. Yeah. yeah. It's that's stronger than the plain cherry, yeah, yes. Yeah. That's why it's, we call that very cherry yes. cream. Not just because it rhymes. Oh. It really is very, very cherry. Very or very? Terry's very cherry no. cream. Okay. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a triple rhyme. That's a trifecta. This is what they look like when the box is open. And this is what it looks like with a fancy dancy lid when it's closed. Oh, hold on. There's a lot of glare. There we go. Now I can see it. Mm -hmm. Good work, Mom. Thank you. I try hard and I ain't right. <laughs>